So hi there guys, welcome back to Neverwinter Nights with me, Max Goodman, with my fancy new cape. Check this shit out. Yeah, boy, we got a new cape and our armor is shiny as fuck. Uh-huh. Um, so, we had a bit of a wonder last episode, uh, just sort of nosing around really, seeing what the crack was. Um, and now we're probably going to go down and see this uh, bodyguard guy. What's his, uh, chef. The chef that needs a password to see if we can outwit him. There he is. Oh, there's a there's an upstairs as well. Do we want to look upstairs first? A large man, obviously watching the door behind him, but he doesn't really look like a properly trained guard. Aha! There's the clue, you see, that I, Max Goodman, the most intelligent of paladins, may be able to outwit this monster. I guess we'll find out in a moment when we've dealt with whatever ruffians are up here. It's bound to have some smugglers in, surely. What ho, smugglers? Hello? You're doing some smuggling up here. Ulfnog. Hello, Ulfnog. Am I interrupting your sauna? Hail to ye! Greetings and well met. Come to sit a bit in the heat, have you? Good for the skin. Uh, who are you? Oh, by all means, I'd like that. Ulfnog is me given name. It is unremarkable to your ears, no doubt, but I quite like it. It serves me well. I'm a traveller. Unfortunately, I happened to be in Neverwinter when the plague began. I haven't stepped outside this inn for weeks. Uh, what are you doing here? Enjoying the heat, as I said, and the dark. It is quite pleasant in here once the door is closed. It shuts out the world. I don't much like the bustle downstairs. Them blood sailors are far too serious these days. They used to be... Ah, well, I'm droning on. No, you're not. You'll tell me, sir. What about the blood sailors? Well, it's just that they used to be more fun. They had a right nonsensical bent to them that kept you on your toes. I know the plague probably has something to do with that, but there's more. It's like their leaders are taking them in a new direction. Ah, I've just had too much time to dwell on it. Stuck here, hiding from the plague. What do I care how tight they get? Uh, what can you tell me about the bar? I suppose I spend most of my time here now, waiting out the plague, you see. Could be worse. Could be in worse places, I wager. Uh, what's happening downstairs? Hmm, <laughs> some fool auction, I think. I even heard there was some part of a cure on the block. Doesn't make sense, though. Uh, why? Well, why is the auction here? Something like that would command a huge price. Why bother with the thugs that gathered their coppers? I mean, if you expect a big bidder, the only reason to have the auction here is to have all the people see who that bidder is. I think someone was trying to show off, and now it looks like the show has been cancelled. Interesting. It's not happening. Don't think so. Vengal Bloodsail himself was supposedly behind it, and he's late. Very late, and there's some other red things. You realise you're asking a half-naked dwarf in a hot room what he thinks is strange, don't you? My answer could be hopelessly skewed. Odd or strange? Well, them blood sailors have an unwholesome attachment to their ale. Not good dwarven ale, mind you, but foul and perverse mixins. I'd stay away from that jellic down there myself. He likes the hard stuff, and I mean hard to take. Uh, yeah, we dealt with him already. Um, Back to the inn stuff. Anything strange here? Changes, shake-ups, the blood sailors are upside down. Some are allowed in the basement now and some aren't. Almost like they've split in two. I think there's been a shift in power. Vengal hasn't been seen for a bit and there's some questionable things happening in the basement. How do I get down there? Do they still have their poor chef guard in the door? I bet he doesn't appreciate his pantry being locked up any more than I do. I overheard the password to get by him. You'll still need a key or some stout picks though. They don't even let him open the door himself. Shit, okay, we need a key. Password is Cornerstone. At least it in some Merryweather pompous nickname or somebody's dog. I hate it when dogs get cute like that. Cornerstone. Okay. Uh, thanks, and how do you know this anyway? You learn a lot in a small dark room. Don't let anyone tell you different. Wow. Okay, I'm off. A shame. I hope the night treats you well. Come back any time. I will, Ulfnog. I will. We'll have some sexy naked times later. Don't worry. Max Goodman <laughs> approves. <laughs> and what's in here? An empty room. 
how much of this stuff is trapped, do we think? Should I save? I'm hoping the keys appear. Because if it's not, then we need a key. Or we need Tommy Undergallows. Um, either way, we need a method of getting through the door. Hmm. Who would have the key, though? If Vengal's not allowed down there, then surely it will be the other guy. What's the name of the other guy? Does anybody know the other guy? It doesn't tell us a lot, does it? Uh, I wonder where Vengal is. Maybe we could find Vengal and tell him that we want to help. Maybe that would work. Because there was those two guys out on his ship, weren't they, who weren't letting us pass. What if we sort of march up to them and be all like, I want to speak to Vengal. Uh, I hear he's having some problems, and I will help him because I'm Max Goodman, Paladin Tom. How's about that for a fucking plan? The other thing is we could try and get a Blood Sailor uniform. I don't know if the, how that would help, but I'm, I feel like I feel like I remember there being a way to do that. Did we go through here, or does this just this just lead back outside? Just leads back outside. Okay. Let's go talk to those two dudes on the ship again now that we've got some info and see what they say. I wonder if Hoff will say anything to us now as well. Who is Hoff? Is he a blood sailor? I feel like he wasn't. But I honestly can't remember. Let's see what these chuckle nuts have to say. Good eve, sir. I've had enough of tourists. Get lost, or every pirate in a blood sailor uniform will kick your tail back to the beggar's nest. I mean, that's how we get a uniform, I guess, is we just kill these guys. Should we do that? Doesn't feel very paladin y, does it? Come near the ship and you'll be killed. Okay. I'm just trying to piece it together in my head. So we need a key. Vengal's not allowed down there, but the other guy probably has the key. Kalik. Is that the guy? And Kalik has an amulet that the Mastersons want. So Kalik presumably has the key then. So where the fuck do we find Kalik? Let's see if Hoff has anything to say. I greet you. Okay. He doesn't have anything to tell me. Uh, did we check everything in the golden apple? Was there anybody in there who was someone who could help us? I remember the woman said she sometimes got s smugglers' coins in. Gilda, that was her. None of these guys are blood sailor uniforms. Do you know anything new, Good Gilda? Do you know where Kalik is? Kalik has a house in the northeast corner of the district. That was the clue. Northeast corner. It's the locked house.
What's the locked house down here? This is Calix house. And it's locked up fucking tight. Hmm. It is locked up super tight. Um, okay, we could go ask that guy about the key, maybe. What's tavern key? When did we get tavern key? What is that for? Is that the actual key? Did we already get given the key? And I'm just a dumbass. Maybe we did. I'll go try it. We can try it for note, right? It's not going to hurt. Maybe... Maybe the key was in my heart all along. Let's see what happens. Chef boy. Greetings. Now don't go bothering me. I don't want this job and don't need this job. Just say the password and get moving like all the rest. And don't ask me about any key or whatnot. If you know the password, then you'll have your own damn key. I don't have one. Wow. Weird. You want the password? Yes, fool, a password. If that door gets opened before I've heard a password, I'm supposed to call the guards. No, out with it. Password is Cornerstone or something. <laughs> right, good enough for me. In fact, that's good enough for the night. Anyone else with you, they can go in as well. I'm done with caring about that stupid door. I did my part and now I'm done. Okay, good work. The tavern key was the key. Holy shit. Well, there you go. Oh, Fucking banditos. I'm healing before I go in because I'm expecting a boss fight. Now, we might be able to verbally make our way through it. I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to see. But I'm suspecting that... Uh, I'm expecting a, a ruckus, basically. Oh, in we go. Time to see what the situation is. The journal's updated. Okay, and we're unlikely to be welcome. So we can expect a fight. These, these fucking rugs are going to be trapped. I just fucking know it. Now that we've triggered one, I'm expecting more. Oh shit. Mage. Mage detected. <laughs> Geek the mage. <laughs> Bam. One less blood sailor to worry about. Knock, knock, motherfuckers. Who's inside? It's your boy, Max Goodman. Mage! <laughs> These are some good-looking blood sailors. Oh, it's almost a shame to kill them. But I guess we have to. For the good of Neverwinter... <laughs> They must all die now. You're dead, yeah. If I can actually fucking hit them, they must have pretty good AC, because yeah. I'm struggling. With our plus 10 fucking bonus, I'm actually struggling. Oh, we're so close to leveling as well. I would really like to level up. That would mean a lot. Can't rest too many dudes. Okay. Gonna save in case one of these things is trapped and kills us. Because we know how it is. Locked. Three gold. It's not the not the greatest loot, but it'll do. Nice. Okay. Let's do let's just sort of keep on rotating in this general direction. 
Abati. Get past him, get that fucking mage before he casts anything. <laughs> Shit. We took our AOO against the wrong fucking guy there, didn't we? There we go. Maybe we should whip up some Enduro Elements. How long does that shit last? 24 hours. We should have totally put that on before we came down here. I, th I think he only Ray of Frosted us by the looks of it, but it fucking hurt. Five magic... Oh, his magic missile he cast. How did we know that? We don't have any fucking ranks in Spellcraft. How the fuck did we know what that was? Yeah, we literally don't have any ranks in Spellcraft. There's no way we could have determined that was Magic Missile. <laughs> oh, actually, before I do that... Oh, fuck. I was going to test whether I could just fucking sleep in a corner. I can. <laughs> Typical. Just my goddamn look. Never mind, they're only lighties. We're getting past the fucking stage of using lighties now. Okay, endure elements is up. We are going to endure all the elements, regardless of what they are. Fire, check. Lightning, check. Acid, check. Surprise, check. Rubidium. <laughs> like, try and think of another obscure element. Is that a real element? Or did I make that one up? I don't know. Well, this is the last door. So, presumably... Oh, no. There's another door, but there's a lieutenant. Die at my hand. He's got a fucking double-ended sword. It's always a shit choice of weapon. Believe me, I've made a double... a weapon master with a double-bladed sword in this game and it was really bad. <laughs> this must be... I was going to say, how has he got such good fucking AC and be a strength character at the same time? Because that's not fucking armor he's wearing, you know what I mean? It's just a uniform. So we knock him on his ass. Fuck me, that was a big hit. Gave him a big one back, I suppose. Fuck yes. We just leveled right before we dropped dead. He had some splint mail, which I'm going to take. Uh, stick it in the bag of holding. Okay, let's fucking save our game and level up. That's going to be fun. Level 6, we get 2 attacks. That's our big thing. Uh, what's our con mod? Plus 2, so we're looking for 12 hit points. 12 hit points. Uh, so, we will take a point in discipline. And a point in persuade. And cleave. Damn right, we'll take cleave. Nine. That's a bit bad. What's the safety on a d10? Six. Six plus two is eight. It's over the safety. Okay, we'll take it. Fine. Oh, I'll take your fucking shit level up. Just chug some fucking potion. Put some of these lighties to good use. Okay. Uh, one more save now that we're leveled. Quick look at the new character sheet. So we've got our iterative attacks. This is something you don't get in 5th edition. Uh, so we're now at plus 11 slash plus 6. So we get to attack twice in a round. Fucking A. I do love iterative attacks. Oh. Fuck my life! 102 fucking damage! The fuck? 
Jesus Christ. 102. Fucking level 5, for God's sake. No one's got that sort of health. I'm not touching another fucking box in this room. I'm not reloading after every fucking box. Jeez, it was pure fucking piercing damage as well. Went straight through the fucking spell resistance and the um, endure elements. Fucking hell, euthanasia, stop fucking launching Rocksmith over and over again, you pleb. Oh, there's another lower level. Shit. Here we go. What's down here? Ooh, I was waiting for the... F Whoa! Someone's prepping spells in there. Oh, fuck. Someone's fighting, maybe. We need to go... We need to get over there. Where did it kick off? One of these rooms. Let's try this one. Hello? Is it kicking off in here? This day is your Fuck last. me, that's a lot of shit. Oh, cleave! Cleave! Did you see the cleaves? And we resisted the magic missile because we've got the fucking magical thing on. Oh my god. This dire boar. Let's go snag this fucking lieutenant. This fucking boar kicking my ass. Oh, the enjoy elements is in, is actually fucking helping us here as well. That's pretty nice. We are missing a lot of our fucking attacks. That was a big one. Is he unarmed? Is he a monk spellcaster? What is this shit? You will die! I'm chucking my, chucking my moddies like they're fucking going out of fashion here. Come on, just land that fucking hit. Jeez, I'm getting pounded. Oh, God. I'm just literally going through potion after potion. Jesus. There we go. Thank God. Oh, my God. He was so strong. 209 experience, and I am bloody battered. Let's get some of these lighters down my neck. The Endure Elements is still up. He didn't burn through too much of it, so that's nice. Uh, we're coming up for time. Do I wanna? Do I even wanna click these chests? They're just gonna fucking kill me, aren't they? Shall I try it? Fucking YOLO. Jeez. That was actually open. I had a shield inside. <laughs> Not the worst, I suppose. I'll take it. Sure. Sure. Why not? Well, that wasn't the right room. So the fight must be going off in the other fucking room. I kind of really want to deal with it. It's not in here either. It's going to be that metal doll. Ooh, Potion of Cat's Grace. Literally useless to us, but nice. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Who's Darane? Oh, is this the girl? The girl that they took. I thought I heard a spell going off somewhere. Hold on. This guy had some remains. It's just gold. It's just some gold pieces. Instructions from Kalik. Here we go. Fucking plot. This note is from Kalik, the traitorous lieutenant of Vengal Bloodsail. It appears to be instructions on how to access the sea caves through the city's aqueduct. When you have pulled what information you can from Vengal's wench, join us in the aqueducts. The entrance is in the very northwest of the docks district, though, and 
through an old maintenance building. I believe I know an alternate path to where the old fool keeps his secret stores. The cockatrice should be there as well as whatever else he has been keeping from us. Shit. Time to take our due. We'll use the hand signs below to pass the seal on the aqueduct gates. Keep this note with you. I doubt you can remember the signs without it. A complex series of hand motions is detailed below. You will definitely need this note present to reproduce them accurately enough to pass the gate. Fine. Milady. Thank you for saving me. If that is indeed what you have done, I do not know you or your motives. I'm not going to hurt you. It is good to hear a kind voice. I cannot do that accent very well at all. These men have not been gentle, and I fear their questions will grow in ever more insistent. I am Darany, and I am at your mercy. I would hoped you were sent by Van Gogh, but I haven't heard from him. His auction was called off. Uh, what do you know about Van Gogh? I have a question first, if you don't mind. Who do you serve? I won't say anything if you intend to use it against people I care about. Uh, sure, I work for Arabeth and Nasher. I see. I begin to understand what your interest in Van Gogh and his blood sailors may be. Ask your questions, I will try to answer. Uh, Van Gogh. Bengal Blood Sail, the Scarlet Blade. He is the former leader of the mutinous Blood Sailors, and he is my betrothed. We have been apart for far too long. Uh, where is he now? I cannot say for certain, but he is an old pirate and set in his ways. He said he, I would know where to find him, and I have a few ideas. Bengal is on the run, so he'll go to where he thinks he's safe. He'll either go to the Silver Sails or the Aqueducts. I think both places lead to an underground cache of his. Help me find him and I'll spare him. I want to believe. He really did mean for his auction to help. He just wanted the right amount of flash as well. Very well. Find him. Take this locket. It was a present from him. He said it was a key and it would let me enter the silver sails if I needed to find him. The silver sails is in the west central area of the docks. There is a passage inside. Van Gogh says it is safe. For him at least. Uh... Do I want to know more? I guess I do. Uh, why did the blood sailors not follow? It would appear they have grown tired of Vengal. His methods of doing things are sometimes difficult to understand. They do not respect his grandiose plans like they used to. He has always stressed how things should be done with style, but now they just want profit. Okay, who's leading the trade? Sailors, we know who it is. It's Kalik. Kalik, Vengal's lieutenant. He didn't approve of this auction, so now he's trying to seize the blood sailors for his own. He doesn't appreciate artful schemes. Kalik will kill Vengal if he finds him. The Blood Sailors will become a much more vicious group under him. Vengal always maintains some civility. Where's Kalik? He couldn't wait for his men to finish with me. He probably made a guess as to where Vengal is and has gone to try and find him. Shit, okay. So we need to go get to Vengal ASAP. Okay, well, goodbye. Farewell. I will remain here. Vengo will find me when the time is right to do so. If his game doesn't get even further out of hand. Okay. Sure. Well, you stay there. I will close the door for you. Uh, the Masterson Amulet. I don't know why that updated. Unless the locket is the Masterson Amulet. Goblin's locket reveals an inscription from Van Gogh blood sail to Darnay. If separated we be, this locket shall unfurl the silver sails and float you to safety in my arms. Okay. Interesting. Um, Jeez. Darnay claims that Van Gogh's secret auction item is actually one of the water Davian creatures and that he had intended to return to Lady Arabeth once he had first used it to ingratiate himself with his old enemy Lord Nasher. Kalik, on the other hand, is interested in nothing more than personal gain. Vengal apparently told Darane that in times of trouble she could find him through the silver sails, using her locket as a key to allow entry. He may have had some sort of storehouse beneath, but only he knows what dangers are down there. Well, shit, son. Okay. I mean, jeez. It got a little bit more interesting than I was expecting. Um, and I guess there's still something to figure out in this place. There's a locked door there, and there's still a couple of rooms we can go in over that side, so we'll do that next time. Uh, but for now, I'm going to leave it there, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>